Hi, this is John Merch. Welcome back again on my uh, review and talk about the iPhone. Uh, a lot of people have been talking about speed and complaining about the edge network, so I wanted to actually show some live um, surfing of the iPhone. Uh, so here I am outside of my porch on a nice sunny day. Uh, so here we go. We'll start her up. Um, here's the iPhone. We're going to go to settings, make sure Wi-Fi is turned off. Wi-Fi is off. You can see that. So let's go back here. Go to Safari. So for web testing, uh, I used uh, bandwidthplace.com. Uh, most of the others that I use that use Speakeasy actually use Flash, and Flash doesn't run on the iPhone. So here we go. We're going to start up our uh, speed test. Now what this test is going to download a one meg file and uh, give us the time in kilobits. Uh, most of the speeds I've been seeing uh, had a low of 65 kilobits, a high of about 135 kilobits, uh, mostly average around 120, uh, 110. Um, so this is going to load, this may take some time, one meg file. Uh, I'll also go through and do some surfing. We'll go to a heavy JavaScript intensive website like Dig, and we'll also go to uh, Engadget, I'll also open up uh, Google Maps and uh, go to the Fifth Avenue store. Now the one thing with the Apple iPhone as opposed to like the MDA or the Trio or something is that it's easy to type in web addresses as well as being able to Google search something. So for an MDA or Trio you'd have to go to google.com and then you know start searching from there or type it in the URL. Uh, I found it great the feature of the pages being able to have multiple pages so I can either reload or refresh or go back so I can always have Dig or Engadget open and check them out. The other thing about pages or specifically with iPhones, I can open up Google Reader and get all my RSS uh, relatively quickly. You can do that with the Trio and stuff like that, but web surfing with the iPhone has just been enjoyment and uh, very nice. So it's still taking a little bit to process, but I want to show you some real time and data of actually going through this. Uh, so here I am outside, uh, full bar coverage, so let's open that up and show the actual data. So here we actually hit a top, it was a, uh, see that? 154.4 kilobits per second. So let's see the time rate. So that was 54.3 seconds on a one meg file. Doesn't really come out well, does it? There we go. So there we go. So let's uh, go back, open up a new page. Let's go to dig.com. So we go to the toolbar, type in DI. See that I've already typed it in, drops down, click it, it'll load. One of the great things uh, with the keyboard is, is you really need to go through and learn it. Uh, go through and it will learn what you type and all the URLs and whatnot. I also found that um, passwords I use on a lot of web accounts, so if I want to check out MySpace or Facebook, uh, typing it on here may be a little bit different as opposed to comp a computer due to shift and a couple other like quirky keys. So here's Diggs loading up. We can take a look at it. That wasn't bad. Full coverage, AT&T. So web surfing's all right. Let's go back. Let's open up a new page. Let's go to Engadget. So here we go. Loading up Engadget. So uh, if you try loading up a page that has Flash, it just shows a little box. Uh, I can load up uh, jawmerch.com after this, and then we'll go back and uh, take a look at uh, Google Maps. So this is taking a little bit to load. still going. So there we go. Now Engadget has quite a bit of images and ads and all sorts of stuff associated with it. But here we go. We can zoom in, read through some of the articles, probably all about the iPhone, what I'm doing right now. So let's close out of this. We'll go back into Google Maps. Uh, let's go to search. Go to Apple. Apple Computers, One Finneyed Road. So, there's a satellite image, it's loading up. So, there's Apple Computers. We can zoom in, zoom out. We can also click it, see the listing. So, there we go. There's a listing and phone number. We can do directions to here, from here. So 
it's uh it's not bad it does you know it is a little bit slow especially if you're constantly zooming in or zooming out or go to a map view or switch between them but it's pretty decent solid so going back from Google Maps let's go back to my site and I show you what I mean by flash so go up here into the nav delete that start typing in johnmerch.com So here we're loading. I wrote a couple of uh, articles about SMS, uh, JavaScript benchmarks and stuff. So we'll scroll down to where I had some uh, YouTube posting. So these are just some benchmarks that I had posted. And keep scrolling yeah I blogged a lot about the iPhone so this is what I mean by the box so that's what it shows uh, with flash if there's a flash video there that's the little box that it shows I enjoy it um, talked to a bunch of people already uh, there have been a couple issues of trying to find uh, iPhones I noticed on uh, Apple's website they don't specify if they have the 4 gigs or the 8 gigs in stock I highly recommend paying the extra hundred dollars and getting the eight gigs. Uh, I have an eight gig right here. So yeah, it does smudge a little bit, but you can just do it on your shirt, wipe it off. So if you have any more questions, comments, please uh, stop by johnmerch.com or email me and, uh, or just click on the contact and you can do it. So let me know. Enjoy.